Hey everybody and welcome back to SV Blown Away. In this week's episode we're going to be getting on with some more boat jobs. But before we get into this week's episode, here's a quick reminder of what happened last week. The wind. <laughs> we are Natalie, Ian and Nelson. We are emptying the money bank, filling the memory bank. Come and join us every week, share the adventure. We purchased a new dinghy. Now that new dinghy has an engine which can remain on board the dinghy, which means we have extra weight at the back of the dinghy sitting on the foredeck. And we found that the fender that the dinghy used to sit on wasn't strong enough to take the extra weight of the outboard engine. And we are making a dinghy chock to sit the dinghy in a chock instead of on a fender. Joints are all done. It's okay, it's not perfect. I'm not a joiner. It looks alright. It's gonna be strong enough to support the dinghy, that's the main thing. And while I'm on deck oh, fixing the dinghy nice. chops. Uh, so it's December, we're doing some boat jobs. Um one of the things we need to do are side windows, these ones. Um when it rains at the moment, because we haven't done the work to them quite yet, but that's quite a big job. We get occasional drips coming in here. Um, it's especially bad around the galley window and also behind the coffee machine. So we get little drips in here. Um, so we do have our beige window covers. So these sit on the outside of the windows and it does stop most of those leaks. Only problem is you can't see through these. So when it rains, we have no vision out the side of the boat. Um, so what we're going to try and do is put a clear plastic. So this stuff here, it's a clear plastic. We're going to put this <coughs> on the inside of these ones and then be able to roll these up, stow them in situ um, so that we've got clear plastic covering the windows when it rains. And we've also got the beige ones in case we want privacy in a marina or a town key. So that's what I'm doing. As you know, the boat's quite old, she's 40 years old. We have numerous leaks that we are going to address during the winter. We need a temporary fix because it hasn't stopped raining since we got back here. So for anyone that's interested, how to get permanent marker off plastic. <coughs> Mosquito sprays. They, they generally take off all permanent marker from plastic surfaces. I'm not going to worry too much about that top edge because that's the top edge that's going to be sewn into the canvas so you probably won't see it. Okay, so all that's going to happen with these is this is going to get sewn along that. We have to leave it just below the bolt rope because the bolt rope has to slide into the, into the track. Just nicely fit along there. Excuse the noise of the generator. Uh, we've had that one for the sewing machine. So this is what I've just created. And here you have the plastic screens over the windows at all times. And then you have these little Velcro straps. <coughs> so that if you want privacy in the marina, you can drop that down and then with the 10x at the bottom so privacy screens or just the clear plastic for waterproofness job done this is the piece is going to replace the fender as you see the fender's gone out of shape it doesn't like the weight of the outboard engine and then i can flat pack it like a piece of ikea garden furniture so that just all slots together like that. Should cut out the second one now, this plank of Iroko. Shadows. Mark this one out off the other one. So just cut this out with the circular saw. Let's 
we are revisiting the dinghy chuck today. Uh, sun's finally back out. It's actually not a bad day, a bit windy, a bit cold. Wind temperature brings it down to about five, I think. Anyway, we're gonna get on with this. So this is the dinghy chuck that we started making. Um, good progress so far. Made these pieces out of teak. Cracked two of them already, so decided teak is going to be too brittle to take the load of the dinghy. So I fabricated some, I've joined some pieces of plywood together to make this a double thickness. So we're going to use ply instead of teak because it is more flexible, shouldn't split. So now I have to plane and sand and clean these up so that they slot in like this one does. dinghy chocks. <clears throat> I've epoxied them, cut them all out, gonna give them a lick of paint, slot them all together and put the dinghy back on deck maybe later on tomorrow. If anyone who's ever had a tin of paint open up on a boat in a locker you'll understand why this is so heavily taped up. We we'll keep these little tongue depressors, medical tongue depressors on board. And they're great for stirring paint, dirt cheap, and they're wood, so you get the sewing machine running in the background. And that's currently doing one of the sewing projects that we've got going, which is our uh, enclosure, our tent. Also, I'm going to give this a few coats. It's all the old base coat of epoxy, and this is a two component paint, so it can sit on top of the epoxy quite happily. Mostly over thunder and lightning today has gone overhead and completely bypassed us, unfortunately. This one didn't. This one found us. And with weather like this, it's very difficult for us to get much done in the way of work. In between the rainstorms, we are finishing off the dinghy chocks and Matt is still doing some sewing. Here we go. The dinghy chocks are finished. Let's get the dinghy on deck and see how well they fit. And I am going to declare that a success. So you ready? We'll do the Christmas bit first, because all else is going to fail. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, it's getting closer to Christmas. As you can tell, we have a few Christmassy bits and pieces up. And um, we just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of our subscribers. And a quick thank you to everybody that watches our channel. We really do appreciate the comments. We really do appreciate it when someone gives us a thumbs up or when they share our videos with other people. And we love interacting with everyone's comments as well. But Nelson's looking at uh, the camera now. Say happy Christmas, Nelson. So from Natalie and myself and from Nelson, we wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a very Happy New Year. And we look forward to seeing you all again in the new year. It's easier doing this with a Jack Russell. Okay. Should we do that again? I'll do it again. Oh, no. Oh, stay. Mm. stay, stay. All you've got to do is sit. It's Christmas time again, so we just wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, we're tucked up in our cosy lower saloon at the moment, enjoying some Christmas festive lights and decorations and the heater behind me. So, um, quickly about our plans for next year. Uh, we're not big into planning because too many things are changing too rapidly at the moment, but likelihood is we will stay in and around Greece. There are so many islands that we didn't get to do uh, this year, and I think I'd like to go and take a look at the ones that we missed, basically. What, what is he doing? <laughs> Has he got camera shot? What? <laughs> Dog's broke! Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I can get him back. 
and can get him back. So our plans for 2022 are likely that we will stay around Greece, essentially. And we will do some of the islands that we didn't get to do this year. Limiting factor is obviously this one here. He's, he's going to be 12 in May and he's finding certain things a little bit more difficult now. Um, so we will try and make his life a bit more comfortable in the upcoming year. <laughs> Just waiting for him he's to lost lick interest. your ear. <laughs> Nelson. Yeah, so as Nat said, one of our limiting factors now is a dog. He is getting old. He is nearly 12, which, you know, is a ripe age for a boxer. Um, we've put off crossing the Atlantic because of Nelson. Um, it's not right for us to do three weeks at sea with a 12-year-old boxer dog on board. He didn't sign up for that, and we won't put him through it. So we're going to hang around the Mediterranean until Nelson says farewell, at which point we will also say farewell to the Mediterranean. But we know that Nelson's going to live till he's about 18 just to spite you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Hey. I can get him back, it's okay. He's gone, look. We've lost him completely now. He's... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Fruit loop! <laughs> he wants to go to sleep. I think he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Can we do the Atlantic crossing now? <laughs> and cut. Uh, we just wanted to say a big. Thank you to everybody's support for the... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>